Hello, welcome to another Work With Plus course video. In the previous video, we were showing how to work with the listed object and its features. In this video, we'll start working with filters and how to apply them to these objects. Also, we are going to create a new listing panel. We can do this by clicking on the New Object button, which is the one found here. We click here, and there we can see objects that Work With Plus allows to add in a transaction. In this case, we are going to click on Selection to generate a new list. We click here. When we click where I am demonstrating, we can see a preview of what the screen will look like. Click Apply. It asks us what attributes we want to place. Since we want everything to be there, we click Apply. We wait a bit, and another list is generated. We must give this new list a name with a description. This way we can differentiate it from the default list that we have already created. We will give this new list a description that says person with filters and a name that says with filters. And here we have our respective description and name loaded correctly. Filters are a work with plus feature that enables end users to search for information by filtering data Work With Plus has many filters, but in this video we are going to talk about the most important ones. The first filter will be Dynamic Operators. This allows the end user to choose at runtime which operator they will use to compare whether the record meets their conditions or not. For example, in this slide, we see that the Person First Name filter has two operators, which are Begins With and Contains and these operators vary depending on your data type. We are going to create this filter within the list that we created previously, which is called With Filters, and we are going to go to the Advanced Filters Containers section. We click here and here we will add the filters. These filters allow us to hide the filters in runtime, and also allow the user to view them whenever they want. Please note that filters can be added outside this node, and they can be positioned wherever on the screen you want. Let's add it now. We can do so by right-clicking here. Add and here we place Filters Attribute. We click here, and in this case we are going to create three filters for three attributes. We need to look for Person, and we are going to use this filter. Then for another one. And we repeat the same process here. And again. And finally, we select this one. Here we can see them. Let's run the application and see these filters in runtime. Once our application is executed, we must go to the Person with Filters screen. Like so. Since we inserted filters in the Advanced section, we must make them visible using this option. Let's click here on the funnel and select Show Advanced Filters. And here our filters will be visible. Depending on the type of data, the option that will appear. In this case, this option appears in person first name. In the case of gender, as it is a numbered type attribute, only these options will appear. No operators will appear, as in the case of person first name or person birth date, which in this case shows us date type operators. Another widely used type of filter is the column filter, this filter allows us to filter the data directly from the title of each column. Like filters with dynamic operators, filters vary by data type. By default, this type of filter is always enabled on all columns. We will see it below at runtime. For numeric data type, it shows us a numeric range selector. Here we can see it in person ID. That shows us the range selector. For date fields, such as person birth date, we are shown a date type range selector. For example, 
Here we can see it. We click on the filter and select a range, and it shows us the calendar with the dates. And here we can change by month as well as by year, and here also. For the character data type, it automatically loads a list with all the different values that exist in that column. And for each of them, the number of records with the same value. For example, in this attribute, which is of type character, we can see all the records there are and for each record how many of them are registered. We can configure from each column if we want to have the filters using the include title filter property. We can also customize its behavior by setting the include title filter property to true and title filter definition in custom. We will do it from the person birth date attribute. We will set the include title filter property to true. And here we can see the title filter definition property that is default, and we will place it in custom. From these properties, we can configure if we want to see a dynamic list, the number of equal records, the filter condition, or if we want the filter to allow multiple options to be selected. Finally, we will see the full text filter. This allows you to filter several columns at the same time on only one field. Let's see it at runtime to see how it works. Now we will filter by Uruguay. And we see that only William appears since his country is Uruguay. We are going to do another test with another filter. Let's place rolling. And only Johan's record appears since his favorite band is the Rolling Stones. From Genexus, we can configure which attribute can be filtered from this filter. We must select the full text filter node. From this window, we can remove or add attributes so that the filter takes them into account. We invite you to subscribe to our channels so that you are always up to date of our upcoming videos. See you there!